Over the course of my collecting life, I have opened so many blind bags, like literally hundreds, and mega constructs, mega blocks have made countless different variations. The most recent is Halo Universe Series 1, a absolutely beautiful accompaniment of all the different generations of Halo canon. And just before that came out, we had Series 3 of Halo Infinite Series blind bags. You know, Halo Infinite blind bags came out last year, they debuted as Halo Infinite was meant to release and since then we've had three series up until the actual release of the game after it was delayed by a year. So this is a really iconic set. I've been very excited to bust this open and I'm gonna clear these away. <laughs> these are all gonna be for another video folks. Whoa. Today we're going full force with an entire box of Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. We're sparing no expense today. We're going to cut through 32 of them. Oh my goodness. I have never in my life opened a full box of blind bags, so this is a really exciting first for me. This one is not even part of the 32, that's just a spare. We've got all of these. Boxes have shipped in different sizes before, sometimes half this size, but right now they're being sent out in this gorgeous full box of 32. And this was obtained on a recent episode of Travel Blocks. You can check that out. I went to Target and found these, but it was two boxes and I kind of just grabbed a random set of 32. One of the boxes was like further back and it was pretty much complete. So I grabbed this and I coded just the last few to complete the box. So I'm really, really hyped about what's inside here. We're honestly just gonna bust them all open in one sitting. <laughs> yes, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that a sight? Goodness me. So on the box, we can see all the different characters sort of lined up in a field. It's pretty unimaginative, but it does the job. Distribution center in Texas. That's interesting. So... 32, oh my gosh, they're falling off the table. <laughs> 32 of these blind bags. I have also got these on my desk. This is Victor the Grunt and Victor's Cult Follower. These were both random spares in the box. A kid had opened them and they were sort of leaking out of the packaging. So I rescued these guys. It was very random. I got them for free. And you can check all that in the travel blocks listed in this video. So I don't really, <laughs> I didn't think this through entirely because I've got a small square table and clearly these are just gonna fall away. So we're gonna have to put them back in the box but we'll try and randomize what we're doing here you know we'll try and put them in a little bit randomly so we have a, a variation i've seen when i've been sorting through boxes and coding in the past that mega does seem to sort them out you know you'll get like four brutes at once or four spartans at once so i'm just sort of jumbling these in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's 32. All right, let's break open the first one. Oh, we've got, a, we've got a good start here. We know what this one's gonna be. It's the Wasp, look at that. And I would love you guys before this video even gets going to post your predictions in the comments down below about what figure you think I'll get the most of. What do you think? Oh, I'll tell you what. Comment down below, how many victors do you think I'll get? That's the real, that's the real question on everyone's mind. Goodness me, why, what? <laughs> Did you see, did you see that entire process? I just like very slowly ripped that for like no reason. Okay, I'm also really enjoying here a much better filming layout. I've got a really lovely table set up and I got a microphone sort of mounted on a separate arm. So I've got complete freedom over the table. It's way better. My first wasp. I wonder how many I'm going to build in this video. I am going to try and have a fast pace with this, but I don't know. It's going to take a while at first, especially when I don't know how to build things. The micro builds have been been such a favorite of mine throughout uh, my Mega Bloks journey over the last uh, year or two. They have so much to offer, really detailed, and you can tell that the design team at the studio must just thoroughly enjoy making them. I mean, why not? They must be a real blast to try and design. I would very much love one day to go down to the Mega Construct studio and interview some of these people, like really figure out what makes them tick. Oh my, it just, literally just rips in you. What is wrong with this paper? I've really been thinking recently, ever since Mega Constructs did the behind the scenes of the new haunted helmet. Why don't they do that more? Like, why don't they share behind the scenes of like every upcoming project they're working on? All the figures, all the sets. You imagine how much more hype would be built? Like you take things like the 20th anniversary pack and obviously that sold well because it's an extraordinary set. I guarantee it's a lot of those sales have come from the amount of hype they built up. But the interesting thing about Mega is they basically tend to build no extra hype on things. They like just 
soft release them and like don't like sometimes uh, this is the wild thing about mega like they must have had a really really good year literally a new halo game came out for the first time in six years so they must have had a really great year but they don't up their promotional material at all tell you what this is so bad i hate this so much that we're gonna find another wasp when in doubt just find another instruction manual that torn instruction manual was just annoying me so much that I would rather just build two wasps in a row, because that's how we do it here. We're not messing around at the domain. There we go. All right, well, we got two on the table now, and we're gonna take extra care of this instruction manual. I'm also dealing with the fact that the light source is coming in from here, so it's like glaring the instruction manual, which also doesn't help. I can't tell you that we're off to a good start, because <laughs> we're definitely not. What I was saying about Mega, yeah, they, they do really, really need to step up their promotional material, if you ask me. Like, it, it is kind of crazy to me that we don't see, like, tons and tons of... 3D renders, like pre-production sketches of different sets. Like, why not? <laughs> it, it, honestly, it, it, give me one reason. I bet you can't. Look at this wasp. What a cute little thing it's coming together. Fun fact, which I'm sure everyone will just reel over in laughter or disgust for, I am still on mission four of the Halo Infinite campaign. I just finished mission four. I'm going so slowly, but that's just how I like to do it with Halo campaigns. That's how I actually like to do it with most campaigns. I completed Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in three years. It took me three years and I played it pretty frequently, but I just really like to take my time and enjoy it because because you know, uh, these experiences you only get once in your life. You're only going to experience Halo Infinite for the first time once. Look at that little grill on the back. That's really dope. The propellers sort of hang off, which is a little strange, but this is a really dope design. Yeah, that cockpit kind of rounds across. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Wasp down. Yeah, one of the videos that I didn't think would do that well, which is my rare blind bag opening part two, has suddenly done so well. It's got like 50 something K views. At the time of recording this, it gains like 5k views every day, which is really strange. Blind bags are what you guys want, right? Like blind bag openings are what you guys enjoy. There have been so many videos coming out on this channel. One every day for the last uh, almost, I think, 60 days. I need to actually figure out how many days it is because, you know, it's a, it's a really cool thing to talk about. I would like to know the exact number. It's something like 60. Something like 60 days straight of videos right now. And that's just so awesome, man. Like, you guys, you must be, you must be happy to see that, like, I talked so much talk about coming to America and about starting to make videos full time. And I don't think most people would have probably believed me. They would have been like, oh, you know, he's just, uh, he's talking a big talk. But here I am and uh, I am making videos full time. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is a full-time job. I'm super, super impressed with the build on this wasp. And I knew I would be, but it's just really, really special. I'm very happy with this. I wonder how many I'll get. Tell you what, I'll make the prediction now. I think, and I did just shake a lot of those bags. I was shaking them quickly, so I don't know if I missed any wasps out. I probably did. The instruction manual in the next blind bag should tell us the rarity of these. So maybe, maybe my prediction is that I'll get four wasps. I absolutely love these angled pieces. I also really adore the metallic green that Mega have really just gone back to. They've like fully embraced it. We're almost finished with our second wasp. That means there's 30 blind bags left to go. And uh, the funny thing about this series is I don't think there's any easy figures to build. Oh, actually the marine will be easy, won't it? The marine will be a very easy one to build. And would you look at that? We have a pair of little wasps buzzing along. That is two wasps and goodbye instruction manual. Let's bring out bag number three. What's it gonna be? Three, two, one. Yo! It's the pink Spartan. That hot neon pink. It is literally like hot pink, isn't it? Okay, the commons are the Victor the Grunt, Spartan Fred, JFO, the Marine, and the Spartan Hermes. Then the rare is the Elite Ultra and the Brute Chieftain, and the Ultra Rare is the Wasp. So maybe we'll get- I'll, I'll stick with four Wasps, we'll see. But this is the hot pink Spartan JFO. It's a dude, which is dope, you know? Dudes can like pink. I love pink. The community either loves or hates hates neon colors on their characters, right? Because this series has two neon characters, the JFO and the Elite Ultra. So it's not for everyone, definitely. But I for one love it. I, I think neon colors are goofy and fun. As long as we have a mix, I mean, these figures should be for everyone, right? It should be sold for everyone. So I'm all about it. We're gonna have a real tough time with these torsos. Pop them in, there we go. It looks quite funny without the uh, the leg guards yet. <laughs> like he's, uh, he's wearing, wearing some kind of like stockings. Even when the production images came out of these, I knew they were going to be high quality. You can see the paint 
applications on his like ammo clips or his drums whatever they are are really nice touches you know usually these figures are just one color wash usually the blind bag figures are the cheapest of them all but this is actually really nice like this is a really really nice figure i love the jfo i love jfo in reach and these figures also pioneer a change of color halfway down the limbs which is always a nice touch so jfo is our next figure that is two wasps and one jfo let's bring out the next one gonna go through so many bags today oh sorry wasp here we go it's the Elite Ultra, and that's a rare. Very nice. Elite Ultra has had so many iterations within the past year. This might be the last one for a while. You know, it might come with some like packs, some like four figure packs or whatever, but I think this will be the last one for a while. They've done the Elite Ultra quite a lot. Shame it doesn't have any lights here. Some of the Elite Ultras do under their chest, but never mind. We're also going to see, I think this video can be a deciding factor on a problem that's been going around the community where people have been saying there is poor quality control issues with this new series of blind bags. It's interesting, I opened one of these, only one, in a recent video, and it was missing a piece. So maybe the quality control is bad, but if we have a full set of 32, especially if they're from two different boxes, then I think this is a fair uh, conclusion on whether the quality control is actually quite bad. And I love these over-the-top massive shoulder pieces, and just this blue in general. <laughs> like, look at that, that is such a fun blue. It reminds me of like old Cyan Spartans and the uh, Cyan CQB from one of the old blind bags, the old, old, old blind bags. <laughs> Hey, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, let's get his head on first. It's also nice with these how the skin tone is a different color to the jumpsuit. That makes it feel more alive, more realistic. Those nice gold highlights in his eyes. And then the black on his top matches his jumpsuit. And then look at that, they're brothers. That's so dope. I hope if I open it one day, I get the CQB. It comes with a plasma repeater, which is, you know, it is strange to have Halo Infinite blind bags with a weapon that is not in Halo Infinite. Like there are so many weapons in Halo Infinite. It's just strange to specifically choose one that is not in the game. And let's get back number four. Five open. Three, two, one. Bag number five is <laughs> a pink JFO. Okay. I wonder how many bags. That's another interesting prediction. How many bags will it take to get a full series naturally? A full set. I predict, uh, what, what is it? There's uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's eight in the set. So I think it'll take 15 blind bags to get a full set. Let's see if I'm right. We have already got the ultra rare, so the odds are in our favor. Come on. Hey. Sometimes I apologize if the camera shakes as well. I am using this brand new setup. It really is beautiful. It's a massive metal arm that holds the camera directly above the table and another massive metal arm that holds the microphone directly above the table. So I don't need to move at all. I have a complete freedom of uh, sort of movement flexibility. I feel instantly way, way, way more relaxed recording these because I don't have to worry about the tripod being right in my face. I don't have to worry about the microphone sort of being all over the place, especially if I look in different directions. It's all just figured out. And look at that, we, we built the second one way quicker. That's the pace we're gonna build up to on this. All right, that's JFO number two. Bag number six, this is a chunky one. I wonder if chunky means Victor. Let's go. Hey, there he is, my baby boy. So, for anybody who's new to the channel, let me explain uh, why we call it Victor the Grunt, because I'm sure you've seen it around. We got into a habit on this channel of naming every single grunt that we build or like review in a set. I just give them like official names, like non-canon official names. It kind of started with Craig because I was like, that's a really great thing that you can just name a character and it kind of just sticks. So we started and uh, it kind of really stuck. And now we have this 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 Victor about a year ago an Instagram account leaked a picture of Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags But the grunt was actually like sort of shaved off. You couldn't see it So nobody knew what the final figure was gonna be so I reached out to mega and I said hey Can I help you reveal this cuz uh, you know, it, it looks like a leaker is gonna do it Can I uh, officially reveal it for you and they said yeah, of course and they sent me a picture of Victor the grunt and I posted it on YouTube and Twitter and it was the first time the entire world had seen the mule pack grunt Which was really cool Like I felt like I was part of something at that point because the grunt mule is so beloved in the game now and Mega and myself were the first people to ever reveal it to the world. So Victor has a very special place in our heart and yeah, when I revealed it to the world, I named it Victor. Sadly, a lot of the YouTubers did not use the name Victor. I don't know why. <laughs> they just called it the Grunt Pack Mule or the Mule Pack Grunt or whatever. I don't care. I don't like any of those names. Give me Victor. There we go. He even comes with two shock rifles. It's such a generous figure and I'm excited to open the one that comes in the Razorback. That's going to be a variant. A pretty difficult build and honestly, if you were a random kid, you would not be able to 
build that. Victor! Welcome to the army, my friend. We now have two Victors, and slowly but surely, I am gonna build a Victor army. I'm gonna make it my mission to buy as many Victors as possible. So that's the sixth figure in this blind bag set. Let's snip open the seventh one. Whoa, that went straight out. That's the Marine. Just a plain Marine, and it's gonna be a really easy figure to build. No doubt about that. It is a nice one, you know. Uh, let's have a look at that face mold. I think some of them appear a little weird. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, a, it's just a plain old Marine, really. And it's the same as the other Marines that have come in this series. They don't come with any shoulder pieces. They are just super plain. It's kind of a shame. Like, I do think they should come with the shoulders. My original speculation when the Series 1 blind bags came out is the reason the Marines didn't come with a shoulder was to be able to be customized with the Marine gear pack. And that made sense. But now the Marine gear pack, I mean, first of all, the Marine gear pack got the poorest distribution ever. No one got it. The same as the Elite Mercenary pack. It was terrible. So it's not even like anybody could use it if that was the intention. But aside from that, there's no pack like that anymore. So there should be either another pack or the Marines should be coming with some shoulders. And this assault rifle comes with the scope. I mean, I've got such a growing love for Marines after playing Halo Infinite. You know what I'm talking about. The Marines are so great in that game. We currently have five out of eight of the set. I predicted we'd get a full set at 15 and we've got seven right now. So I think uh, we're gonna get it earlier than that. Blind bag number eight. Whoa, out it comes. There we go. It's the Spartan Centurion. The Frederick knockoff, <laughs> the broke Frederick. Yeah, we don't even know where blue team is in Halo Infinite. Gosh, there is a bit of a gap between those binds of the uh, leg there. I don't think it'll matter. But yeah, I do feel like Spartans are quite expendable in Halo now. And Spartans were meant to be like, I mean, yes and no, they weren't. Cause like almost all the original Spartans that were created died fighting the Covenant. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I just feel like Spartans die too easily nowadays. Maybe it's just blue team. Maybe it's just the Spartans we know. Maybe they just have plot armor. And plot armor kind of transcends past the idea that, like, because of the plot, they can't die. It's because they're too beloved by the fandom that they can't die. Like, you you do write yourself creatively into a hole where you can't kill off any characters because they're just so beloved. There we go. That's our Spartan Centurion. He's looking fantastic. Nothing interesting about him per se, but I do like, again, the, the green arms are metallic and the visor looks great. The bulldog looks great. He holds that really nicely. I'd have liked some painted detail on the knives, but these are blind bag figures, so I can't critique them too heavily. We've got all of our characters there and then we've got our two wasps. Let's see what blind bag number seven, eight, nine. Blind bag number nine is yes. Victor the Grunt. It's also funny with these figures that they come with these arms. Like, the arms come pre-attached to the body, but you have to pull them out to put the armor on. So it just seems strange that they come attached, but then you have to take them off. And then, like I was saying, knowing that you have to put the body like this, and then this over the top, with the hole still exposed, I don't think most kids could figure that out. Another Grunt gets added to my army. I would love to have a Victor army of, like... <laughs> Like 50. That would be the aim. That would be the dream. And yeah, these grunts only come with one uh, sort of cockpit. Cockpit? <laughs> Cock piece? Oh gosh. Um, I don't know what you'd... <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, one groin pre- one crotch piece. Base plate in, we got our second Victor the Grunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're getting the tenth blind bag. Three, two, one, it's <laughs> Victor the Grunt. Okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> How fast can we build a Victor the Grunt now? I think I'm gonna host a competition in the new year called like a blind bag speed build challenge. Like I wanna get creators to try and time themselves. Like how fast can they build a blind bag? It should be a fun little thing. Let's put naked uh, Victor together first. Just for the fun, just for the fans. Oh gosh, oh his head was upside down. What did I do? That is, oh, that is just hideous, isn't it? <laughs> gosh, he's even got like a weird rib cage. Gross. I don't know if you can see the stick is like sort of broken, so we can't really attach the head on. I have ways around that. Please let me know in the comments down below. I always ask this, but I would love to know what is your favorite video that I've released in the last week? What have you really enjoyed? I think it's no surprise to anyone that the video I've enjoyed making the most of the last week has been my Christmas celebration video, where just loads of content creators, fans, 
some of my best friends, even Xbox Live buddies, all came together and wished the whole community a Merry Christmas. My heart was so full. Right, so we've got a uh, helmetless Victor. That means he won't be able to breathe, which we can't have. So we got a little bit of blue tack on his head and we'll just wedge that on. Nobody will ever know the difference. Look at our little hole now, fellas. We've got all these Victors. Da -da -da -da. Three of them. That is quite the haul. Blind bag number 11, and we are definitely more than a third of the way. Three, two, one, it's... Hey! The Spartan Hermes. The Brute Chieftain is the last one. Wow, okay. What did I say? 15 blind bags until we get a full set? Well, the next three shouldn't be Brute Chieftains. Then the fourth one coming next should be a Brute Chieftain. And then I'll be right. In we go. Wow, that was an easy click. And seems like this one doesn't come with any quality control issues. Like I said, the one that I opened the other day was missing its crutch piece or one of the crutch pieces. But this one is A-OK. -okay. Everything's just been so wonderful at the minute. My subscribers, I've gained, at the time of recording this, 2200 in the last just like 28 days. Bag number four, th bag number 13, no, 12, boom. It's another Marine. I forgot to even talk about the uh, the Spartan Hermes. It's a really nice figure. Got some really fantastic colors. I love this orange. It's way better than I thought it would be. And so is that blue visor. Like these really pop. And then I love the undersuit being black and white. They are two obviously perfectly contrasting colors. So this works really well. We got that Hermes and then we got one more Marine. And I bet I can throw this together in record time. The head also looks really good on this one, which is great to see. And there's our second Marine. We're gonna run out of space of even displaying these figures in front of the camera soon, which is exciting. Let's keep the momentum going. Break over the next one. Three, two, one. It's another Spartan. All right, another Spartan Hermes. And is this Hermes a female? Yeah, okay, does seem to be. I'm looking forward to getting that Kelly. I'm looking forward to the whole Razorback. It's kind of funny, like I get a set and you know, when people get a set, they just bust it open immediately. But the second I get one, I store it away until I can make a video with it because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make content for you guys. So it's, it can be funny. Again, I've had this full set of blind bags for like about a month. I really enjoy making videos. Making videos is my life, but I have have like underlying like stresses when it comes time to making one because there's so much setup that's involved and like my camera equipment sucks and my tripod always falls in on itself and like there's a lot of problems but with this new setup I am like breezing along making videos which is really special like it's really important to me especially when it's like my job now I hope it's my career video making so yeah look how quickly I built that one yeah so when I have a set I buy it and then, oh no, <laughs> another one, another Hermes. I buy a set and then I just store it away until I have time to make a video with it. Some of them uh, can be made pretty instantly. Some of them definitely not so much. The main case in point is this one because- Get in there. Brute force never hurt anyone unless you're this Spartan. I guess it probably, that probably hurt me pushing down on you. Tell you what, if Toy Story was real, that's pretty brutal that the Spartans or like the figures just remain like mangled in a bag, like in pieces. That's a little bit of dodgy molding on that shoulder. You can just cut that straight off. Line bags require a lot of focus. Sometimes I can't check if the camera is in focus because my focus is on the set, <laughs> not the camera's focus. That's funny, that's like a double focus. Spartan Hermes looking absolutely fire. Gravity hammer behind the back. That's my favorite pose you can do with these. And that is number three. Look at that, number three. 14 bags, ladies and gentlemen, 14 bags. And we're about to meet the 15th character in our list. It's another Spartan Centurion. I might have to Google in a second if they are actually Spartan Centurion. I'm 99% sure. Just want to be crystal clear that I'm uh, not just saying the wrong Spartan's name like three or four times in this video. Definitely, I think the strategy is you get that pelvis on first, then you pop each leg off and do them individually, pop them back on. Sort of speeds up the time, I think. I guess that we could spend a lot of our time today figuring out the fastest possible way to build these. Then you pop. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And I think it's interesting, we saw the images for this set before we even knew if Kelly and Fred were getting remolded. This was like just right at the beginning. So I think this was the first time we found out. Come on, what are you doing, man? Hold, what? I just did not want to hold that. It's like, I'm seriously, dude, why are you not holding it? It's like, I'm retired, man. And I just noticed this came with a third shoulder. Bonus shoulder for me. Currently, our figures that we have the most of are the Spartan Hermes and the Victor the Grunt. We have three of each of those. Then we got two wasps two Centurions, two Marines, two Snipers, only one Elite Ultra. He's the only one we only have one of. So let's see if we can get the Elite some backup. What do we think? We got three blind bags. I think it's gonna be this one. This is gonna be an Elite Ultra. Three, two, one. 
Oh, yeah. Victor, you imposter! How dare you? Hell no. I will welcome him with open arms. I watched one of the uh, Halo terminals posted by Unishek showing the Ungoy, the Grunt Rebellion. Very interesting one. Showing how an Arbiter was forged to fight off the Ungoy Rebellion because the Kigyar tried to sterilize the entire population of Ungoy, and so they totally revolted. You shall not sterilize us, they said. Were the banished are the grunts slaves, or are they uh, paid mercenaries? This feels like another big bag. <laughs> if it's gonna be another grunt, that would be hilarious. Oh no, we got our fourth Hermes. And yes, off camera, I did just Google if Centurion was the actual Spartan. <laughs> it was indeed. I just love these color choices, man. Like, I don't know if it's a new person on the design team, but they really went for some like outgoing colors, right? Sort of almost neon orange and then a neon blue and hot pink. Like, wow, such crazy colors to choose. But I have mad respect for it. Like, I absolutely love those color choices. And I hope after this video, you love them too. <sighs> Shoulders on, helmet on, and the gravity hammer in hand. Let's just put it weird. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Behind his back. Looking awesome. Count them four of the Spartan Hermes. That is a lot. Let's see if we get a fifth. It would be hilarious if this was an Elite Ultra because I put three in front of me and I predicted the other two would be Elite Ultras. So it'd be hilarious if the last one Hey, look at that. Wait, was that the 15th? Was that the 15th? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. No, it's the, it's the 18th. But that's crazy. It actually did take us 18 blind bags to naturally find the entire set. And look at that. It's a brute chieftain. Yes. I was so excited about this brute. That is a massive chest piece that I just slid on. AC Craig in all his bountiful glory. Let's start with these big old shoulders. You may also notice I used to always get ridiculed on this channel of putting the shoulders on the wrong way round. And as told to me by Halo Collector, each of the shoulders have a little stub at the top and that actually indicates what goes on the top. But we've got our Gravity Emma, our Brute Chieftain. Wow. I've heard so many wonderful things about fighting the Brute Chieftain boss in Halo Infinite. I've not done it yet, but oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A full set of Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. We're no way near done yet. I love the fact that we got four victors already. This is bag number 19. I feel feel a really fat body in this one, so I'm gonna say it's another Victor. <laughs> yes, man. Five Victors. That's easy to do. You can sort of attach it, but the head is off to the side. You have to push it around, make sure it's positioned correctly. Sometimes when I was, well, all the time actually, when I was recording these videos in Hong Kong, it was so much more difficult to do. Especially in the humidity, there was always just, it was just so hot outside. And we would have AC on. We only like to really have AC on in the evening, but I would have loved to have AC on when I was making videos because you know, I'm, I've got a bright light on, I'm under pressure, like uh, I'm just sweating like crazy to be honest with you, and it's very difficult to do. But we couldn't have an AC on because the sound would interfere with the audio of the video, so we literally, like, I would just sit there just like covered in sweat. So it is a really beautiful thing to be able to record in the cold Minnesota in winter. It is snowing outside currently, we're getting three inches today. I also can't express how enough how happy I am that we have more victors than anything else right now. Five victors. Let's keep this blind bag train rolling. There we go. It's another marine and I believe that's number 20 I'll be giving one of these blind bag figures away at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that Yeah, this marine it's I mean, it's got to be the easiest one, right? The old easiest one like the easiest figure that we used to be able to build in blind bags was the grunt in the original blind bags Ah no, in the original blind bags, I mean, almost all the figures came 100% complete from the very beginning. That's because like, I guess production was uh, a lot cheaper. I mean, production might be cheaper to just produce it all in one bag. I'm not sure. Then again, maybe the technology to have figures broken apart in the bag, maybe the technology on the factory line wasn't there yet. <laughs> Look at this. Another Victor the Grunt. Oh my goodness. Six Victor the Grunts. Let's go. How many Victors will we get today? It's looking like we'll probably end up with like eight or nine Victors. You'll also see on these blind bags, they have reduced the, uh, the they've changed the rarities around. In series one and series two of the Halo Infinite blind bags, the AC figure was common. And I saw a lot of people letting Mega Constructs know that they did not like that. I only want one AC Master Chief. I don't need 10. Like, you literally just need one of that. I feel like we might get one more AC Brute. I also don't know the distribution of the rarities in this set. If it's a box of 32 and there are eight different figures, there's two rares, one ultra rare. But then again, we've already got two wasps. Maybe with 32, you get like two ultra rares and maybe like four of each rare. I'm not sure. There's our little boy. <laughs> and that is the sixth. <laughs> 
Sixth Victor the Grunt. Blind bags, blind bags, it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Another, another victor. The craziest thing I found out about the US with Christmas is you you guys don't have Christmas crackers. You don't know what that is. Google Christmas crackers, man. Every single dinner, you would sit down and the first thing you do is open your Christmas cracker. Inside you get a paper Christmas hat and maybe a little toy and a puzzle or a joke. Next one, <laughs> could it possibly be a victor? We got seven victors now. What? No, it's the Spartan JFO. I actually expected to get more Marines by this point. We've literally only got three Marines. Ideally, what I'm gonna do in the future is just bulk buy lots of different Halo. Every time I bulk buy, I make really quality videos like this, and then I just resell it all for like basically what I paid. There's our Spartan J phone. We have nine blind bags left. And we're gonna be cutting all of them open. And I do apologize, I've been checking the video footage if a lot of this or some of this is out of focus. It's very difficult to try and get the correct focal length for this, especially when my hands are moving like crazy. The quality will only improve the more I get to use this tripod setup. Another marine. Like I said, the one that I thought we'd get the most of, but we've actually not had that many. I think the ones that people wanna army build in this set, they must be the marine and the Victor the Grunt, right? And oh, also the elite. It's funny, we've only got one elite elite ultra yeah only one elite and one brute chieftain but then again they are the rare and ultra rare of the set how many of this blind bag series have you got your hands on so far i would also like to know if you're going to watch this video the entire way through because that is some serious dedication but i know there's people out there let's see are we going to get another marine Nope, it's uh, okay, a Spartan Centurion. Like I said, we are like literally running out of space. I wouldn't have it any other way. Yes, since arriving in the USA, I am doing YouTube full time and the rewards have been so great. I just, I've, I'm just in my element, man. Like I'm just enjoying it so much. It's just, it's, it's wonderful to me. Like it feels so great to like wake up every morning to be excited about the video that I'm gonna make, to know that like I have enough videos for like another hundred days ready to go. Like I took a, about a three year break from uploading to this channel and people must have been thinking the whole time like man I wish he could upload more frequently and now it's every single day so <laughs> this really doesn't want to go in I think the Centurion is the most forgettable of this set to me. Uh, there's just nothing that stands out. The visor is also like a little bit more of a subtle bronze instead of a gold. So I just, uh, I'm just gonna forget about this one. You know, it's not that special. I hope I get one more Elite at least. Like, I hope I get one more Elite. I would like another Wasp. I would like another Elite. I would like another Chieftain and any more Victors. I'll take as many Victors as I can get. Wow. And this is another JFO. My fingers are starting to get a little bit sore. And then after this JFO, we've only got six left. Wow, we've burnt through them, 32. If you would like to see a full Halo Universe Series 1 blind bag opening video, I would love to do one. So let me know in the comments down below. It's gonna be a bit of a pain to edit this video. I'm not gonna lie, but <laughs> <laughs> could be better. <laughs> not the greatest positioning I've ever done, but there we go. Six blind bags to go. Three, two, one, way. okay. So I said I hope that I get one more Elite, one more Wasp, one more Chieftain, and some more Victors. So there's one more Wasp. These instruction manuals now come wrapped in a little elastic band. It's just wasteful plastic for no reason. I think I'll be able to, yeah, pop this together really fast. I'm also recording this pretty late at night. <laughs> it took a long time to do a file transfer. I filled up the SD card and then I had to do an, a, like a transfer out. And gosh, that took up like half an hour. I really need a second SD card for this camera, but money is tight tight is money. So I am looking right now to buy a lot more blind bags in bulk. As many as possible. Give me all the blind bags. Such a cute little wasp. But it is strange how the turbines kind of just hang off. It's a limited build. Like there's only so much you can do when it's this size. So don't get me wrong. I'm still like super impressed by this build. Even if it was just an angled piece on either side, I think it would work better. I think this will probably be the last wasp. I did predict that we were going to get four wasps. So let's see. Let's see. That is wasp number three. Five bags left. What are we gonna have in this one? Three, two, one. Yeah. No, another Centurion. That's a shame. Give me another Elite. <laughs> Why do I only have one Elite? I'm ready to <laughs> lie down and then go to sleep. The day of recording this as well, it's Boxing Day, and I just released another travel block where I went to a Target to find the Covenant Needler. And I was lucky enough to find a box, a full untouched box, of Halo Universe Series 1. Move over guys, we gotta make room for these Centurions. Look at this absolute crazy amount of figures. That is so wild. <laughs> and look at how small this table is. Like literally, <laughs> I'm recording on the smallest surface. Give me that Elite. Give me an Elite or a Chieftain. 
Elite or Chieftain? Whoa, yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted. I needed to get at least one more Elite. I know a lot of my comments section is also filled with when is the next diorama? Actually, two things. When is the next diorama and when is the next live stream? And the answer to both of those questions is not until I have a different space. Yeah, I can't make big dioramas until I'm in my own living space. Because the Elite's legs curve round, it's really difficult to get that popped in. Just look at that cyan. <laughs> it's, it's such a goofy color. What Elite would ever, ever have that? Like, he'd be mocked for it. There's no practicality to that armor color at all. Zero. It's literally just for fun. Same with hot pink. It would never happen in the military if either the Covenant banished or the UNSC. It just wouldn't happen. Two more elites. Give me one more chieftain. Oh, well, I mean, like I said, I'll always accept more victors. Ugh, oh, the meme. The meme is so real. Oh no, it's all falling apart. Oh no. Maybe I'll make a new series called Building a Victor Army. Ah, see? <laughs> see? Ah, oh, no, this arm came off. What is wrong with this one? I literally just said a minute ago that the grunts are kind of easy to pop the torso in. Then we get this dude. Alright, seventh victor. Three, four, five, six. Wait, are there eight? No, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, there's eight of them? There's eight victors. Oh my goodness. I miscounted. Eight victors. Good lord. Two more blind bags. Give me that chieftain. Just one more. Well, okay. Well, that is my prediction. I said there would be four wasps. Unless the fifth and final blind bag. Nah, that doesn't feel like a wasp. I bet that's another victor. Let me know if you uh, enjoy just the absolute length of this video. I don't know if I'm gonna like heavily edit this. There we go. Bingo. Four wasps buzzing around. It's the final bag. I think it's gonna be a victor, which is hilarious. That would be nine. Three, two, one. <laughs> We're the Victor channel, man. Like we, we, we established Victor as a meme. We showed Victor to the world for the first time. We have got to collect Victor. I mean, Billy the Grunt is our mascot, but Victor the Grunt is our special king. That one just popped together. He knew he was the last figure. Don't fail me now, Victor. Whoa, like a champ, like a champ, like a boss. Victor is the boss. All right, folks, this is 32 blind bags <laughs> in all its glory. And yes, we did have a victor from that other travel blocks video, so that makes 10. I'm going to clean this up and show you the final haul for today. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 32 Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bags. We've got our AC Brute Chieftain, a really, really fantastic figure. Very excited to, I mean, just one is okay to me. It's surprising that I only got one of this. I mean, in fairness, the ultra rares seem more common than the rares did. But yeah, we've got one Brute Chieftain and two Elite Ultras. Love the design, really love the color. It's very bold, it's very neon. Excellent figures. Four micro build wasps. They're a really fun design and I love the fact that they can pivot on this little translucent rod. I would have liked a little bit more of a 3D element to this, but I mean, it's a tiny vehicle in game, so it's still a great representation. Four UNSC Marines, very basic, and they could have done with some more armor on the shoulders and the legs, same as series one blind bags, but still great cannon fodder and happy to have four more Marines in my collection for Halo Infinite. Four Spartan Hermes, these are really impressive. I love the color choices. Black and white on the undersuit, then orange and this neon sort of electric blue on the helmet visor. Excellent, excellent figures. Four Spartan Centurions, definitely the most forgettable figure. I mean, they are just so basic. And four Spartan JFOs. This hot pink is awesome. I really love it. The other color choices work really well, like that light gray and the gold visors. The sniper rifles are really awesome to army build as well well and a really even distribution of figures here. I mean we have four Hermes, four JFO, four Centurion and four Marine. If we clear the way for the stars of the show we need a little bit more room here. Victor the Grunts we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> nine Victor the Grunts. 32 Halo Infinite blind bags open today in one of my largest if not my largest blind bag opening video ever. This is so epic and I really appreciate the fact that I was able to do this with you guys. I'm so happy to share this. Whoa, it's just an epic, epic haul. If you would like to win one of these Spartans or Marines, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe with that bell on, and comment down below with your favorite figure from this series. You can pick any for your favorite, and then if you 
win, I'll choose a couple of winners and you can choose one of these four figures to be sent free of charge. So like this video, subscribe with the bell on and comment down below saying which your favorite is from this series. And I'll pick a couple of winners to send one of these four figures to free of charge. Thank you so much for the support and the just ever growing support on my channel. It's a really great time to be a content creator. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there. Happy holidays, guys. And the Victor the Grunts are signing off. Let's kill some meat or blood to drink. What? <laughs>